first, they'd asked to be let in. Now they were demanding. In Belarus, the migrants had run out of patience. Well, these are Polish water cannon being employed, and that is because around midday, migrants on the Belarusian side of the border started throwing stones and rocks and branches, and all chaos has broken out. The uh, Polish forces have responded with water, but also with gas. It's quite difficult to breathe. We have don't have life here. For night, I'm five five night. I'm not sleeping. My eyes. <coughs> For two hours, the border crossing was like a battleground. The European Union says Belarus is using migrants as weapons to destabilize Europe. The Belarusian soldiers stood and watched. They did nothing to stop the migrants who were storming the border. Why not? I asked this officer. His reply, no comment. And while water cannon fought off the attack on the EU's border, the young and the vulnerable took shelter. Belarus may have engineered this crisis, but that doesn't change the fact that it's people who are suffering. Halo is an actor from Kurdistan. His brother sold his house so they could afford their tickets and visas to Belarus. Where do you go now? I don't know. To Iraq, to Europe to the camp, to Minsk. We don't know where we're going. We are like a ball, like a ball in the stadium. Belarus and Poland, they kick us. When the violence was over, some of the migrants packed up and moved on. They'd come to Belarus to try to get into the European Union. Now, it's destination unknown. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Belarus.